Brandon wants to know who has the best spine buster in wrestling today. On the right day, me, it's my move. <laughs> I came, I came up with it. Wait, is that but for I real? Know. You invented the spine buster as far as you know? Yes, I did. No, it's not far as I know. I know I did. Wow. And, and, and the gourd buster, which I didn't use very often, but occasionally, um, and everybody asks how, or, or not everybody, but a lot of people would like to know how I came up with it. <clears throat> One day we're going to match guy fought back, bang, 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 hit the ropes. And as he came off, I just dipped down, caught him in a bear hug. And as I picked him up and I had him, he, his legs were wrapped around me. It was perfect spine buster position. It just popped into my head. Okay. I need to transition from here to move on. <clears throat> So what if I just kind of pivoted and dropped this guy on his back and landed on top of him? That's how it was born. It originated out of a bear hug. That's amazing. So when you first started, you told the story before that your first sort of finishing maneuver was the gourd buster, but then eventually you transitioned to more of the spine buster and DDT. Why the change? Why did you decide that the spine buster and DDT were perhaps better finishers than the cord buster? I think, <clears throat> which it wasn't, but I think it looked a little bit dangerous. The gourd buster, it, uh, it might've had a lot of people being tentative about taking it and you didn't want anybody to worry about your finish because ultimately if they were, they'd try to protect themselves and it wouldn't look like it needed to look. Spine Buster was nice and flat on the drop. It had some impact to it, but I could get to it out of anywhere. All I needed was a guy charging me or whatever, and I could catch it out of, in, out of anywhere. Made it more favorable, and, and I just liked the DDT because of the way it looked and looked vicious. Looked like you were driving a guy's head completely through the mat to the floor. When done right. Josh Powell wants to know what brand of sunglasses did Arn used to wear on TV? Carrera. There you go. Adam B writes in is Arn short for Arnold. No. Arn is a Norwegian name that only came up with for me. When I went to Atlanta to be partners with Matt Bourne and managed by Paul Ellering. Ole came up with that name himself. Don't know from where. It's probably as good as Ole. I don't know. One syllable. What the hell? But it's not short for anything. Mm -hmm.